Now coming to the sounds and duration in cardiac cycling. First let's deal with sounds. In a normal individual when a valve opens there is no sound heard but when it closes then we can hear the heart sounds. The first sound S1 is heard during the isovolumetric contraction. It is due to the closure of bicuspid valve on the left side of the heart and closure of tricuspid valve in the right side of the heart. Here we hear the sound lub. The second heart sound is heard during the protodiastole or isovolumetric relaxation. As we know this protodiastole is a very minute phase. It can also be considered that S2 is heard in isovolumetric relaxation. And here we hear the sound dub. This S1 and S2 are the normal sounds lub dub which we normally hear. We have two other sounds S3 and S4 which are abnormally heard during the pathological conditions of heart. S3 is produced in a stage of rapid ventricular filling. This is also produced after doing heavy exercise. S4 is a rare extra hot sound produced just before S1 and S2. It is caused when there is hypertrophied ventricle. Because of this atria have to contract forcefully in an effort to overcome this hypertrophied ventricle and this results in production of sound S4. Now coming to the timings in cardiac cycling. We know that normal heartbeat is 72 times per minute. So that is 72 beats per second. Then what is the time taken for one single beat? So we cross multiply and get some 0.8333. On an average we take it as 0.8. So for each cardiac cycle the time taken is 0.8 seconds. Let's see the time taken for total atrial contraction and relaxation and time taken for total ventricle contraction and relaxation. Here we have different timings like 0.11 second for atrial contraction, 0.04 seconds for protodiastole and so on. But on average let's take each stage as 0.1 seconds. Don't worry, the sum is not going to change. We get the same even if we do this. So the time taken for atrial systole is 0.1 second as the atria is contracted only in this stage. Then the time taken for total atrial diastole is 0.8 that is total cardiac cycle minus 0.1 we get 0.7 seconds. Now the time taken for ventricle systole is here we have ventricle system, here and here. So in total we have 0.3 seconds. And the time taken for total ventricular diastole is 0.8 minus 0.3 that is 0.5 seconds. I think now you can clearly understand this diagram which shows the timings of cardiac cycle. The whole circle is divided into 8 divisions of 0.1 seconds. Here we have atrial systole 0.1 second, atrial diastole 0.7 seconds, ventricle systole 0.3 seconds, 0.1, 0.2 and 0.3 seconds, ventricle diastole 0.5 seconds. 